greetings and welcome to my channel. Um, today I have a quick little tutorial that I've been meaning to do. I just lost the piece right here. Um, so I made these coffee cups and they were Mickey and Minnie, but they're gift card holders and they have the little ears. And so that was my own little um, twist on them, which ooh, they're getting harder and harder to put it back in there. So this is what they look like. Um, I saw a purse on Instagram on the Disney online store um, account and I just thought it was the cutest thing and I wanted to make it so I ended up doing you know these two because that's what was on the purse so I used the scrap diva designs um, coffee dye pieces to create this card now you don't have to use her design um, it's just the one that I use because it's a gift card holder and I thought, oh my gosh, this is so perfect for what I'm going to use it for. So um, that's how I did it. That's why I used that one. Now, the whole idea is you take, um, first I took the die piece here and then I took oh, like a white piece of paper. Well, actually that's not going to work. So you're going to take a white piece of paper like this and you're going to gauge your lid um, because you need to see like what... Um, size of circles you need for the lid. And I came up with two inch. Um, I thought that's what looked best. They weren't too big and they weren't too small. And I ended up using this paper punch that I had. Um, I also had circle dies, but this ended up working perfectly. So it's two inch. And then um, I did two of them and I already lost another one. Here we go. So I did two like this and I took my lid and I laid it down on a white piece of paper until I gauged that they were kind of even and I liked how it looked and so then I drew around it I just used a regular pencil and drew around it then I once I cut it out I took it and put it on a black piece of paper as you can see and then I used my pencil traced it and then I cut it out so here is the final product now I use liquid glue because um, it's not perfect when it lays down. Um, it's just a little, sometimes it tends to be a little bit bigger. I don't know if you guys can see. There's just a smidge right here. So I'll go in and cut just to kind of make it fine. And then you take another um, piece of the lid or die cut lid in black and you lay it over so that you'll have your front and back nicely done. The other thing I'm gonna say is that um, use thick, um, cardstock that's at least 110 pound because it um, the top gets heavy with three pieces you have this piece and then you have these two pieces so it'll be very heavy uh, when you stick it in in um, the cup if you're gonna do a gift card holder if you're not gonna do a gift card holder and you're just gonna make the um, the cup itself then you don't need to worry about it because you're gonna back it with this and you won't be won't see it so the other thing is you don't need exactly these dies you can create your own so if you have a coffee um, die piece that is smaller all you got to do is find circles that look good with that lid size and that'll fit the cup appropriately but basically the same idea get your lid do your circles draw around it and then just cut it um, I'm pretty sure you can do it on a die cut machine on their programs. Um, I'm pretty sure you can fuse um, pieces together. So you could always just take two circles and just the element of, you know, the design of the lid and then put them together where you want it and fuse it together. And then now you can just have your die cut machine cut it out for you. Um, I haven't tried that on my silhouette because that's what I have. Um, but I have an old one and I've lost three computers uh, or laptops. So every time I restart the program, I've lost the designer um, edition. And so it's a little harder to manipulate my pieces. But um, yeah, 50 bucks down the drain like two or three times. So I haven't done it now and I'm just being a little lazy now. So die um, cuts work for me. But they, you know, you could use your... Um, silhouette or cricket cricket I always want to say cry cut but it's cricket um, so basically that's it like real simple real easy um, there's not much to it and I hope you guys try it out um, and you like 
you know my tutorial and I hope you guys come back for the next ones that I've got coming up so thanks for watching